Good day, everyone. This video is a continuation of the uploaded video about Lebesgue measure. Recall that Lebesgue measure is a function m obtained from Lebesgue's outer measure m star, where the domain is restricted to all measurable sets, that is, script n. So if you want to have a detailed discussion of this function, please watch this video. You may click the link below. Now, let's have this proposition. Let E sub N be an infinite decreasing sequence of measurable sets with the Lebesgue measure of E sub N is finite. Then the Lebesgue measure of the intersection of E sub N where N is from one to infinity is equal to the limit of the Lebesgue measure of E sub N as N approaches infinity. Now let's have here an example and we will use this proposition. So for this example, we are going to find that Lebesgue measure of the intersection of E sub N, where N is from one to infinity, where our E sub N, we have here, the open intervals. So here, n is from 1 to infinity or the set of natural numbers. So n is a natural number. Now, first, uh, we will satisfy the conditions of this proposition before we can find the Lebesgue measure of the intersection of E sub n. So the first question is, is this sequence measurable or is E sub n a measurable set? So now notice here, notice here that our E sub n is open. So from our previous discussion, you have your theorem 1.20. Open and closed sets are measurable. So it means open set is a measurable set. Hence, this is measurable. So this is satisfied. And then do we have Decreasing sequence, do we have decreasing sequence? So let's try. When n is one, so let's check it. When n is one, we have the open interval from zero to one. When n is two, notice here n is a natural number. So when n is two, we have the open interval from zero to one half. When n is three, open interval from zero to one third. So let's have here the illustration. Now, if we have here zero, we have here one, our, our step, so our set when n is um, one, so we have this one from zero to one. We have this set here. Now, if n is two, so notice that we have here one half. So we have the open interval from zero to one half. And then we have here one third. So we have here our next open interval. Now, what have you noticed? As you noticed, our open intervals 
are getting smaller, right? As n approaches infinity. So that's it. Hence, our sequence is decreasing. Follow? Because the sets are getting smaller as n approaches to infinity. Hence, this is satisfied. And of course, it is an infinite decreasing sequence. Why? Because our n here is a natural number. So n starts from 1 up to infinity. And then here, we will check if the Lebesgue measure of E sub n is finite. Now, notice here that our sequence is decreasing. So we can test the Lebesgue measure of the biggest set, which is E sub 1. So here, we will test if the Lebesgue measure of E sub 1 is finite. So E sub 1 here is the open interval from 0 to 1. Hence, the Lebesgue measure of this is 1, which is just equal. Actually, the, the Lebesgue measure is equal to the Lebesgue's outer measure because our set here is measurable. And the Lebesgue outer measure is equal to the length of the interval. So the length of the open interval from 0 to 1 is 1. And we know that 1 is finite. So this is satisfied. Hence, we can use this equation here as follows, this one. So from here, the limit of the Lebesgue measure of the open interval from 0 to 1 over n as n approaches infinity is just equal to the limit of the length of this open interval which is equal to 1 over n. Actually, that is just 1 over n minus 0, which is equal to the length of this open interval. So that is 1 over n. So that's why we have this one. And we know it already that the limit, limit of 1 over n as n approaches infinity is 0. Okay? So... This ends my lecture about Lebeg measure. For more videos, you can click the links below. Thanks for watching and listening. God bless and keep safe always.